after praising the King of all King, the Master of the Day of Judgment, the One, the Only, Allah the Almighty, and sending salutation on the Imam of the Prophet, leader of the Prophet, the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. O Muslims, recognize this one statement and you will realize what reality is. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that you will die the way you live and you will be resurrected the way you died. Recognize this. They Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Malik al maut the angel of death, it visits a person three times a day. Recognize this. The Imam Qurtubi says that the angel of death, he's so frightening, he's so scary that all the angels in the heaven fear the angel of death more than one of you fears a lion, fears a beast. For that very reason, the first story comes to mind. A Muslimah, she contacts me. She says that, tell me the reality of my husband's death. Why? Because something strange happened before he left this world. One occasion, He was sitting down and watching football. Why? Because he was a man that he loved Alan Shearer. He had pictures of Alan Shearer. He used to name himself Alan Shearer. He used to have a top with Alan Shearer's name on. When he had his first child, he was going to name him Alan Shearer. He had no time for Salah. He had no time for Allah. The Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, O oh Muslims, that you will die the way you lived. He lived a life of praising Alan Shearer. Listen to this very carefully. His wife says that one occasion he couldn't feel his legs. He couldn't feel his back. I phoned the ambulance. The ambulance came. They took him on a stretcher. After a short while, we were in hospital. He was on his deathbed. He says, Oh, my wife, make sure you look after the children. Make sure you take care of the children. I was confused, she said. That after a while, they will let you go, they'll discharge you. She says, I was looking into his eyes and he stopped panicking. He started looking left, right. He stopped panicking. He Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you will die the way you lived. And all of a sudden, 
he starts rocking his head and he starts laughing and he starts chanting, I'm Alan Shira, I'm Alan Shira, I'm Alan Shira. He grabbed my clothes and his body lifted from the middle and he left the world in this state. Why? Because Malik al Maut came and he ripped his soul out and he left the world by chanting, I'm Alan Shira, I'm Alan Shira, I'm Alan Shira. You want to live a life of disobedience? You want to live a life of sin? Uqsimu billah Allah will disgrace a person at the time of death. He who lives a life of disobedience, he who lives a life of sin, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, you will die the same way. And I pray to Allah Azza wa Jalla that Allah gives us a good ending while uttering the Shahada and leaving the world in this state. My brothers and my sisters, you just never know when your end is near. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the angel of death visits a person three times a day. You could be clubbing, popping or popping pills. You could be listening to Movado Vibes Cartel. You could be listening to Drake or Justin Bieber. You could be cruising around with your girlfriend and your boyfriend smoking weed. You could be on social media. Before you go to sleep, you could be listening to music and all of a sudden Allah Azza wa Jalla will say to Malak al Maut, that bring my enemy to me and the angel of death will descend and rip your soul out while you are committing sin. Change, O oh Muslims, before it's too late.